Hello, my darling loves. Welcome to your monthly love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, guys, let's get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Virgos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Virgos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what do we need to know for my Virgos, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, please, Holy Spirit. So we've got the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Okay. So we have the King of Cups in the reverse, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy, and we have the Five of Cups. We've got the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, messages for my Virgo, please. We've got the Six of Pentacles, we've got the Ten of Wands, the Fool card in the reverse. Page of Cups in the reverse, and the Justice card, Libra Energy. So, wow, okay, so under the deck, Virgo, we've got the Sun card, Leo Energy, along with the Tower and the Ace of Wands. So, Virgo, what I'm feeling here is we had a, a situation, there may have been an age difference between you and your person, possibly, okay? Um, it could have been an age difference between you and your person. Um, it could also be where someone here made a promise to give finances, maybe child support, because I'm seeing either a mother and a child here, promises made to give money. This could be about, um, it could be where one person is not as financially well off as the other person and there was a promise to make money. Or it could be that we had someone here that was making really big promises, okay, and not delivering. We could have a situation here where we've got this page of pentacles that's trying to promise hierophant level commitment um and we've got a queen of pentacles here that you know is giving love and loyalty and everything but not getting much back okay i'm feeling emotional outbursts here i feel like someone here emotionally is just overwhelmed tired conflicted someone here is wanting to take it slow um someone is scared to take the leap of faith here Someone is really scared to take this leap of faith because emotionally someone is just not feeling safe here. They're not feeling safe. I feel like with the Page of Cups in the reverse and the Hermit, someone is like withdrawing a promise or withdrawing an offer saying, listen, I need to think about it. And with the Five of Cups and the Justice card, Libra Energy, realistically... Someone kind of deserves this because, you know, they were not coming to the picture like they were making big promises, but not delivering. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I feel like it's hitting someone like the truth is hitting someone of, you know, you keep promising me a lot. But I mean, like I'm feeling emotionally drained and fed up because I'm overwhelmed. I'm giving all the love. I'm giving all the money. What is coming back to me? Do you see what I'm saying? What is coming? You know what I'm saying? This person is becoming slower and slower to give, slower and slower to, you know, trust. Um, it's it's just like they're they're taking some time apart from the situation to think and i feel like the person here who was not giving to the connection um does have a sense of guilt and remorse they are facing their karma because they know that they weren't giving to the connection do you see what i'm saying spirit what messages do we have here for my Virgos, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages to my Virgos, please. 
Page of Pentacles. Play, okay, Ace of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. The Lovers. And Temperance. The Hierophant. The Eight of Pentacles. And the World. Six of Pentacles. And the Ten of Wands. in the Reverse. So, listen, I feel like when this Page of Pentacles made these promises, they were made with honest intention. I, I gotta say, they were made with honest intention. Um, I do feel that with the Hierophant here, the Eight of Pentacles and the World, I feel like you know, this person perhaps has a lot of work to do. They have a lot of studying to do. They have a lot of wisdom to gain. They have some growing up to do. The world card is a representation of a chapter closing in this person's life. So I do feel that this person made those promises with honest intentions. The problem is, is that let me give you an example, okay? You're going to school to become an RN, right? To be a registered nurse, okay? You haven't completed school yet. You haven't gotten your degree yet, but you're already making a doctor. You're already scheduling appointments with people, right? Someone here is jumping the gun. Um, now, obviously, you know, if you're going to school to be an RN, you're a job, you want to help people, whatever, that's fine. Like someone here has good intentions. They did want this outcome. They did want this overall outcome. The problem is, is that they haven't done enough work on themselves to truly make promises like that. Do you understand? Um, Queen of Pentacles, the lover's card and temperance. I'm feeling here that what we have is one person that has reached that level level okay we have someone here that is um that is uh, uh ascended in that way do you understand what i'm saying someone here is more mature more wise more financially stable more emotionally uh, in a healthy place to be in a relationship this person has had patience this person has a lot of love to give but they're getting tired they're giving up on giving so much because what we have here is one person carrying the weight for two people king of cups in the reverse and the knight of swords i feel like this king of cups energy um initially possibly gave love very freely without thinking just here there you go let me love you you know what i'm saying but it's overwhelming now it's overwhelming like someone is just so overly giving and it, that now those beautiful feelings of emotion are turning negative now it's turning into emotional outbursts and fear and someone being in their head you understand what i'm saying um what 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 was once very generous and nice is now turning into um an emotional struggle uh we've got the judgment card and the ten of wands someone may be making a final decision that it, this is just too hard for them that this is just too hard for them the knight of pentacles and the five of swords i'm feeling here that things are just moving way too slow it's a lot of backstabbing a lot of heartache a lot of lies a lot of promises that just aren't being kept we've got the full card in the reverse and the four of swords someone here is tired you know what I feel like this person has taken risk after risk after risk and they were disappointed and let down every single time and they haven't even had time to heal before it happens again. So what ends up happening now is now they just, they don't, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, there's nothing left. There's nothing left for me to even risk because you're just destroying my heart at this point. So it's just, I, I, I don't even want to take, there's no risk to even take anymore. It's like my heart is just shattered and I just need to heal the hermit. And the Ten of Cups. I feel like someone is withdrawing their love. Page of Cups in the reverse. And the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. You see what I'm saying? Because someone was not returning the love. They were not returning. Like someone wasn't giving back. Whether it's financially. Whether it was love. Whether it was just being involved in this connection. There was absolutely no equal give and take. Five of Cups please. We've got the Four of Wands. And now someone here is mourning this. Because with the Four of Wands, um, there was a hope that this was going to lead to, you know, happily ever after. A home, a marriage. You know, uh, you guys could be divinely guided soulmates. You know what I'm saying? It's like, so the end goal was for both of you to have this beautiful happily ever after. Tell me about the Justice card. King of Cups in the reverse. But you see, this King of Cups energy was being treated unfairly. 
Okay, this King of Cups energy was being treated unfairly. And you see what I'm saying? Justice card, Libra energy, and the Ten of Swords. Someone here, I mean, it's 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 karma that someone here should end this and walk away because someone here was really over the top being taken advantage of, used. For, I don't even want to say, I can't say that. I can't say that someone was being taken advantage of or used or hurt because the end goal here, someone really did want happily ever after. There their intentions were honest what this person was bringing to the table though was just too immature it was just too it's it's like you what's that saying you know uh champagne dreams with beer bottle money do you see what i'm saying like this person they they wanted this big thing but they still had so much growing to do before they could understand how to maintain it do you understand what i'm saying it's like like trying to own a ferrari without having a job to maintain it it's like try it's like you're you're someone is trying to step into shoes that are just too big do you understand someone's trying to fill shoes that are just too big we have have a page of pentacles trying to fill the shoes of a king of pentacles here you know king to the queen of pentacles someone here is trying to fill shoes that are just too big spirit what messages do we have here i don't like the way that popped out what messages do we have here for my virgos please clarity playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Um, yeah, so you see what's happening here, guys, is someone was playing, to it, it, not games, but someone was too lighthearted about things, okay? Someone here felt like, okay, well, everything's going to be okay, okay, because my person's got it. Everything's going to be okay because my person's got it, you know? And this is a, a past I don't feel like there's any exes here that need to be released. What I feel like this is a behavioral pattern that needs to stop. Someone here needs to understand that relationships are give and take. Someone needs to understand that relationships are not mommy and daddy dynamics, which means that you're re the person you're in a relationship shouldn't be, because I'm, I'm also picking that up here, someone here may view their, their partner as their mom or their dad, where they don't have to give anything to the connection, but their person is expected to spoil them, take care of them nurture them and you know this isn't a mother child dynamic this is a relationship so what's going to happen is the other person is going to get worn down to the point that they can't take it anymore do you understand so what we have here is getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens and you deserve love so only one of two one of two things can happen here either someone here opens up and says listen this is the way i need to be loved and you need to stop acting you know like a page and step up to the plate and love me right or what we have here is someone that's saying listen i need to let this go because there is someone out there that can love me better yeah you see love yourself first honeymoon Free yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Heart to heart conversation and separation. I feel like someone here may open up and say, listen, I really do love you. I really do want this to work, but I have to go. I have to put my self respect first. I have to put my peace of mind first, my sanity first, because this is getting crazy. Do you see what I'm saying? Because this is getting crazy. Like, I mean, you're expecting way too much of me. You're expecting way, way, way too much of me. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. I do feel that there's love here, guys. I have to say, I feel like there's love here. I do feel like this person has a lot of regret, a lot of sadness, a lot of disappointment, but they also have a lot of growing to do. We've got envy and we've got adjacent possibilities. <laughs> oh, this person's very jealous over the fact that you may run off and go be with someone else. This person is very jealous of the fact that there may be other options that you may go live happily after somewhere else. We've got decrease and deserving. Um, I feel like someone here is walking away because they know what they deserve do you understand and uh, you know i don't really know if the option is even open for this person to step up to the plate but i do know that someone here does have love and they are very very jealous over someone going off to be with somebody else okay i love you guys bye